गाइस वेलकम वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आर्किट्यूबर आई एम आर्किटेक्ट वेब वी एंड आई मेक कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू आर्किटेक्चर एंड इंटीरियर्स इफ यू आर न्यू हियर प्लीज टेक अ मोमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल बिलो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द क्लाइमेटोलॉजी पार्ट टू वेर इन वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट जोनल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ क्लाइमेट इन इंडिया ओके सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट प्लीज गो गिव इट अ वॉच एंड देन वॉच दिस वीडियो सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर टाइम लेट अ स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो नाउ Now discussing more on zonal climatic distributions of India the climate of India consists of wide range of weather conditions across a vast geographic scale and varied topography it is based on the koppen system india host six major climatic subtypes okay ranging from the arid deserts in the west to alpine tundra and glaciers in the north and the humid tropical regions supporting the rainforest in the southwest and the island territories Many regions have starkly different microclimates making it one of the most climatically diverse countries in the world. So if you consider the map of India there are different climatic zones in our India. So the orange one or the peach color one shows the hot and dry climate then your green color shows warm and humid climate whereas your yellow color shows moderate climate. then the blue color is showing cold and cloudy whereas white color is showing cold and sunny and your purple color is showing composite climate okay so without wasting more time let us discuss about each of the climatic zones in detail discussing about our first climatic zone you can see from the picture try to guess we are discussing about hot and dry climate okay so let us start with hot and dry climate now Discussing about the hot and dry climate it can be experienced in Jaisalmer Jodhpur Jaipur Kutch like Gujarat and Rajasthan region okay now discussing about the temperature in summers it can go up to 40 to 45 degree celsius during the day and at night it can go up to 20 to 30 degree celsius in winter 5 to 25 degree celsius during the day and at night it can be experienced about 0 to 10 degree celsius okay discussing about humidity this region experiences very low humidity which ranges from 25 to 40 minimal rainfall then precipitation due to very less rainfall the annual precipitation is less than 500 mm discussing about the sky conditions sky is normally clear and cloudless sometimes the storms fill complete sky and create unbearable glare discussing about ground conditions and soil and vegetation dry sandy rocky ground with less vegetation only thick leaves and thorny plants can easily survive such conditions soil is very loose and sandy with poor vegetation discussing about wind high speed dusty winds are very common for this particular climate discussing about solar radiations solar radiations is direct and strong during the day and often escapes into clear skies during nights now discussing about the building techniques for hot and dry climate now discussing about building characteristics for hot and dry climate buildings in hot and dry climate should be designed to receive most solar radiation in the winters and least in the summers okay some characteristics are like north south orientation as it protects from morning and evening solar radiations then bedroom should be oriented to receive cool night air courtyard along some trees and small water bodies creates cooling effect okay thicker external walls with minimum windows to avoid heat and solar radiations window seal should be higher to provide dust protection deep sun shades are required to shade windows effectively and you can see in this picture a central courtyard with pool okay which can give cool air at night then you can see the walls on the outer sides are very thicker and the windows are very less compared to moderate climate and uh, the window seal is much higher okay now discussing about warm and humid climate so in india this type of climate is present in the regions that are in proximity to the water bodies such as coastal areas like kerala tamil nadu goa parts of andhra pradesh and parts of orissa okay the temperature it is not very high it varies between 25 to 35 degree celsius in summer and 20 to 30 degree celsius in winters this region experiences very high humidity ranging from 70 to 90 percent the rainfall is very high in this region discussing about the precipitation it is very high about 
1200 mm per year okay sky conditions sky is fairly cloud cloud covers 60 to 90% discussing about the ground conditions soil and vegetation this climate can experience uh, the growth of vegetation very frequently due to rains okay difficult to control the vegetation here as it is very dense in this climate discussing about the winds in the warm and humid climate wind velocity is low calming and periodic but may be strong during the rain squalls solar radiation the intensity of solar radiation is high during summers and moderate during winters now discussing about the building characteristics for the same climate building should be spread out with large open spaces in between okay for unrestricted air movement cross ventilation is very important large openings to obstruct air path to ensure proper ventilation the opening should be shaded by external overhangs outlets at higher levels to, uh, to vent hot air ceiling fans are effective in reducing the level of discomfort proper waterproofing and quick drainage of water is essential in such climates due to heavy rainfall now if you can look at this picture okay so they have overhangs right they have trees to filter the light and filter the breeze as well okay then they have large openings here as well and here as well so cross ventilation is happening right so that is the consideration for warm and humid climate next discussing about the composite climate so the composite climate covers the central part of india like new delhi kanpur and allahabad the temperature in summer can go up to 32 to 43 degree celsius during the day and at night it can go up to 27 to 32 degree celsius in winters it can go up to 10 to 25 degree celsius during the day whereas it can go up to 4 to 10 degree celsius at night it is relatively humid about 20 to 25% in dry periods and 55 to 95% in wet periods the rainfall here varies from 500 to 1300 per year the sky condition is dull in monsoon clear in winters and frequently hazy in summer discussing about ground condition soil and vegetation a variable landscape and seasonal vegetation characterize this zone winds are strong during monsoons from the south east and dry cold winds from north east in summer the winds are hot and dusty solar radiations the intensity of solar radiation is very high in summer with diffuse radiation and in monsoon the intensity is very low with predominantly diffuse radiations now discussing about the building characteristics for composite climate appropriate orientation and shape of the buildings use of trees as wind barriers and ponds for evaporative cooling roof and wall insulation thicker walls and air locks and balconies walls glass surfaces protected by overhangs fins and trees should be used exhaust courtyards wind towers arrangement of openings then large projection eaves and wide verandas use of lures and the sun rays deciduous plants and courtyards covered by a pergola carry deciduous creepers now discussing about the next climate which is cold and sunny climate such type of climate can be experienced in leh ladakh mount abu the temperature can go up to 17 to 24 degree celsius during the day in summers and at night it can go up to 4 to 11 degree celsius and in winters it can go up to minus 7 to 8 degree celsius during the day and at night it can go up to minus 14 to 0 degree celsius okay the humidity is generally low and it ranges from 10 to 50% the rainfall is variable and the precipitation is generally less than 200 mm per year sky condition is fairly clear throughout the year with a cloud cover of less than 50% ground condition in this region is mountainous and has little vegetation and are considered to be a cold desert winds are occasionally intense solar radiation is generally intense with very low percentage of diffuse radiation now discussing about the building characteristics the building should be designed to resist heat loss by insulation and controlling infiltration and promoting heat gain by directly admitting and trapping solar radiations within the living space 
roof insulation, wall insulation and double glazing. Windows facing the sun. Primary materials are earth and timber which are locally available and both materials offer climatic comfort. These materials are used due to their high thermal insulating properties. Quartzite stone is used in making lower palaces or forts where protection from water is required. They are used in lower parts of walls to provide protect and strength. Now discussing about cold and cloudy weather. The cold and cloudy weather can be experienced in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and northern parts of UP which have cold and cloudy climate. The temperature can go up to 20 to 30 degrees Celsius during the day and at night it can go up to 17 to 27 degrees Celsius at night in summers whereas in winters it can go up to 4 to 8 degrees during the day and it can go up to minus 3 to 4 degrees Celsius at night. The humidity is generally high and it ranges from 70 to 80 percent. The rain varies from 700 to 1000 mm per year. Precipitation is generally about 1000 mm and is distributed evenly throughout the year. For most part of the year, during the summer it is overcasted and discussing about the ground conditions, these are generally highland regions having abundant vegetation in summer. The region experiences cold winds in the winter season. Hence, protection from winds is essential in this type of climate. Now discussing about the building characteristics in cold and cloudy climate. A strong wall optimizes heat gain and minimizes heat loss during the cold times and avoid excess heat gain in hot times. In cold zones, the building should be compact with small ratios because the lesser the surface area, the lower is the heat loss from the building. The north side of the building should be well insulated. Air lock lobbies at the entrance and exit points of the building reduce heat loss. A sloping roof enables quick drainage of rainwater and snow. Maximum window area on the southern side of the building to facilitate direct heat gain. They should be sealed and double -bed. It helps to avoid heat losses during the winter nights. The external surfaces of walls should be dark in color because the dark color absorbs to facilitate heat gains okay now discussing about our moderate climate the temperature here during the summers can vary up to 30 to 34 degrees celsius during the day and at night it can go up to 17 to 24 degrees celsius and in winters it can go up to 27 to 33 degrees celsius during the day whereas during the night it can go up to 16 to 18 degrees celsius such kind of weather can be experienced in Bangalore and Pune. Okay, the humidity is very low in winters and summer, varying from 20 to 55 degrees and going up to 55 to 90 degrees during monsoon. Discussing about the rainfall, it varies from 500 to 1300 mm per year. Precipitation is low. Sky condition, it is mostly clear and occasional presence of low dense clouds during summers. Discussing about ground conditions, soil and vegetation, vegetation is fairly abundant. Winds are generally high during summers and talking about solar radiation, it is more or less same throughout the year. Now discussing about the building characteristics in moderate climate, the building should be designed to reduce heat gain by providing shading and promote heat loss by ventilation. Building should have thick walls with high ceiling rooms surrounding by a shade giving veranda. High ceilings reduce the effect of heat that would radiate down from the roof which would get hot under the sun. This will allow the warm air to rise and escape through ventilators high up in the walls. And yes with that we have discussed about the climatology part 2. I hope part 1 and part 2 both were helpful to you and in the upcoming videos we are going to be discussing about the mock test and the revision part of part A and part B both. So please stay tuned for that as well. And if you like this video, you know the drill, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel below. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, please take care and bye. Thanks for watching.